Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Eura J8. The J series has long been one of my favorites in the Eura lineup. It has a different style of body, it's more rounded and has a unique look that's different from all the other Eura machines. It's been a while since we've had a new machine in the J line, but the J8 was well worth the wait because it's jam packed with all kinds of cool features and new technologies. To demonstrate the J8, I'm going to do an overview of its features and then I'm going to make a whole bunch of different types of drinks to show you this machine in action and how you can be making cafe quality drinks in the comfort of your home. The first thing that we notice about the J8 is its large 4.6 inch color touchscreen interface. This is very responsive, just like a phone would be, simple to use and with beautiful photography, it really makes the machine a pleasure to use. The water tank for the machine is on the left hand side here. You just open this door here and it comes out very simply. You can just lift it a little bit and move it sideways if it's underneath a cabinet or I mean if you have room you can lift it all the way up and then refill with water. The opening is also quite large so if I wanted to I can pour from a pitcher. Just be careful not to spill any uh, water onto the other components of the machine. Also here on the water side at the back you have the Wi-Fi connect. The J8 includes the Wi-Fi connector and what that allows you to do, it allows you to use the Eura app uh, which is called the Joe app to make drinks right from your phone and it also allows you to connect to the cool control. I have here the one liter cool control and this is an optional accessory of course it keeps our milk nice and cold and it's possible to connect the cool control to the machine but you'll also need to buy the cool control first and the Wi-Fi connector for the cool control, those two items are sold separately. Also at the top we have the uh, coffee container, it's got a nice chromed lid, that's a 280 gram container and you just put your coffee up there. Behind the coffee container we have the standard bypass doser and this is if you want to make a different type of coffee like maybe a flavored coffee or uh, a decaf, you would put ground coffee in there. And to the right of the bypass doser we see the grind adjustment. Now this is a fairly standard feature on super automatic espresso machines uh, but Eura has introduced a very cool new feature and we'll see this when we're making drinks. It actually will tell us to adjust the grind based on the type of drink that we're making. So if we're making an espresso it's going to tell us to go to the intense side which is a little tighter grind or if we're making uh, let's say a cup of coffee it'll tell us to go to the mild side you're actually changing the grind fineness to get the very most out of your drink. Uh, it's something that we haven't seen on Super Automatics much before. All of this is made possible using Eura's new generation grinder. The J8 is powered using the PAG2 Plus grinder, which is the very latest technology from Eura in Switzerland. On the front of the machine we have the height adjustable coffee spout that's here in the center. This can be adjusted from 6.5 centimeters to 11.1 centimeters. And on the right here of course is if we want a milk based drink that also adjusts and that adjusts from 10.7 centimeters to 15.3 centimeters. So in the highest position 15.3 you can fit quite a large cup if you like a you know a nice tall milk based drink. Back here we have the uh, dreg drawer which is the spent coffee so that's the used coffee container and the drip tray uh, the machine will prompt you to empty this when they're full but that's basically where the coffee goes after it's finished brewing and there's also excess water which also has to be uh, poured out every uh, now and again. Another fantastic feature that the J8 has which is completely new to espresso machines is what Eura calls the coffee eye and if you've ever owned a super automatic espresso machine I'm sure you would have experienced uh, this annoying kind of uh, issue that sometimes comes up where you accidentally press a button and then you're struggling to find a cup of coffee. With the J8 you don't have this problem. The J8 knows that there's no cup so I have the option to cancel. It doesn't start the process right away. I would have to put my cup down and only then can I begin brewing my coffee. That's really cool because it really happens quite often and this saves you the annoyance and also saves you the coffee. And that works on both sides. It's both the milk and the coffee side. So if I want to make a uh, coffee drink I place my cup here and it sends the cup and you see I only have coffee options. It doesn't even give me a milk option because the cup is on the coffee side. If I wanted to make a milk based drink I would have to put it on the milk side and now I have the option to make more drinks. I can scroll into the second menu and you see all the milk options. Uh, it's a really neat feature and, and also unique. We've never seen anything like this before. So now let's see this machine in action. Let's make uh, some drinks and the first that I'm going to do like I always do is a double shot of espresso or actually two espresso. So I adjust my coffee spout all the way down and I'm going to do two cups. So I press this button up here 
and I can get the two cup option. And now every drink switch, every drink that you can make a double of switches to double. So I'm gonna press that espresso. And here you see the coffee strength. You can adju adjust this on the fly if you want your coffee to be stronger or if you want it to be milder. Um, there's 10 different uh, strength settings. So that's quite a bit. You can really fine tune that coffee. So in order to do two shots of espresso, uh, what the machine does is two cycles. Uh, so that was the first one and now it's doing the second cycle. So it did half the shot and now it's completing the cycle with the, uh, with the second half. And there we have two espressos that are just uh, ready to enjoy. The next drink that I'm gonna show you is an Americano. And the J8 makes uh, real Americanos, which uh, I like, because uh, sometimes you'll have drinks like um, a long coffee or a, a lungo, some people will call it. And what that is, is doing a uh, essentially a long extraction. So just running more water through your espresso, but that's not a real Americano. An Americano is espresso mixed with water. So I'm gonna press the Americano button and I'm leaving the coffee strength where it is. It's, it's fairly high, it's eight out of 10. But the volume, it's set at three ounces, which I think is actually a little too much, so I'm gonna lower. And you can change all of these settings right on the fly. So I changed mine down to one and a half ounces as opposed to three ounces. Now I am making these changes on the fly, but you can also pre-program these, so you pre-program it to whatever your usual coffee is. And then of course you don't have to worry, you just press that button and it'll do everything uh, uh, automatically for you. I changed the, the water to five ounces, but I'm actually gonna go a little bit higher. I'm gonna go to about seven ounces because this is about a 10 uh, ounce cup. And you can see that the water spout dispensing hot water. Uh, everything is done all at the touch of a button. Uh, very cool. And there I have my Americano that's ready to enjoy. And I can save it actually now as well. If I wanted to save these settings for next time so I don't have to do those adjustments again, I can certainly do that. But before enjoying my Americano, let's say I want to make it into a cafe misto, I can just add some milk to it. And I press the milk por portion, it tells me to adjust my position just so I have steamed milk. The machine is just uh, raising the temperature to steaming temperature. And again, this, uh, the milk is programmed in time. So 30 seconds, 30 seconds is gonna be uh, uh, way too much uh, for this particular cup. Uh, but I'm gonna cancel it right here. And I've made my Americano into a Misto. The next drink I'm gonna make is a milk-based drink. I'm gonna put my cup on the right-hand side, on the milk side. I'm gonna lower my spout just to match my cup there. And I'm gonna press the Latte Macchiato button. Now the machine is telling me to adjust my grinder like I mentioned before, so it's asking me to go to a mild setting. So I do that up here, and the grinding will begin automatically. As soon as you make that adjustment, the machine knows and begins grinding the coffee and preparing your drink. So the default is 33 seconds on this, which I think is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna lower that down because my cup's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna come down to 22 seconds. Now the point of a, a macchiato, the idea is you want three layers uh, basically, and that's why it's nice to serve in, a, in glass rather than uh, you know like a ceramic cup because you can see what's happening. And what will happen is the foam rests on top, the espresso will be in the middle, and then the milk at the bottom. And you see the machine's prepared the milk and it pauses for 15 seconds. And the reason why it's doing that is to allow time for that milk and uh, the foam to separate. And now it's going to add the espresso. I'm actually gonna reduce that down to uh, two ounces as well. And you can see that coffee settling in that middle layer. Macchiato is a really a very attractive drink. It's visually very appealing. And I'm gonna save my setting for next time. So now, the next time I press the Latte Macchiato button, this is the result I get. I don't have to worry about making changes for my cup. It's ready to go and I think it looks, uh, I think it looks pretty good. 
The next drink that I'm going to make is a bit of a departure for me uh, because it's not something that I usually do. It's going to be a flavored latte. I'm going to be using Yura's Sweet Foam technology, which is also a, a feature that I think it's the first time we've seen this in an espresso machine. Uh, what Yura includes with the J8 are these little syrup attachments. So my syrup will go into here. So I'll just put some syrup, give it a pump of syrup into here. And again, you do this to taste. I just put a pump in, in a little bit. like that and what Yura says is that of course you can add uh, syrup to your latte after the fact uh, but this actually uh, extracts or prepares the milk steams the milk with the syrup and mix it together it says it gives you a better infusion and a, a better result so what we do is we remove the normal milk spout I'll take that off just put this aside and then I attach the syrup attachment just like that. I'm going to place my cup right here, lower my spout to the correct level and press the sweet latte button. The machine is telling me to connect the syrup attachment, which I've already done. And with the sweet latte, it's brewing the coffee first. So it's adding uh, two ounces of espresso. And then we add some milk foam. Again, I'm going to increase the size of that to let's say about 18 seconds. And it's ready to enjoy. You can definitely taste uh, the uh, French vanilla flavoring. Uh, it's quite nice and if you enjoy flavored drinks, this really is something uh, completely different, something we've never seen before uh, and I think quite cool. Uh, the machine comes with two of these syrup attachments, but uh, more can be purchased. For example, if you're preparing different flavors for different people, or again, the, the of course, uh, syrup can get sticky, so you do have to wash them. I want to point out a cool feature when you have the uh, cool control connected to the machine. Now, what I've done is I've removed the milk from my cool control, uh, so it's, it's empty, it's showing red on the actual display, it means there's no milk. I put my cup there, the coffee eye knows the cup is there, but it won't let me make any milk-based drinks. If I press latte macchiato, it tells me to fill the milk container. This is only possible if you have that Wi-Fi connect, so those are optional accessories, but it really makes the machine um, you know, very high-tech and uh, very fun to use. So we made a few different drinks, some coffee drinks, some milk drinks, and with milk, cleanliness is of course very important. I'd like to rinse the milk system. I'm gonna press the settings button and then press the rinse button here. And then the option right at the bottom left here is rinse the milk system. I'm just gonna put a container underneath there, just this cup right here. And the machine's just gonna rinse out any excess milk inside the system to keep it nice and clean. This cool control here, this is the one liter. Uh, you can leave milk out there all day. Uh, it's not recommended to leave it overnight. Overnight, you maybe wanna put that into your uh, regular fridge and turn that off. Uh, but if you're having a party or if you're making drinks throughout the day, uh, the cool control is a great accessory, keeps the milk nice and cold, fresh, and ready to brew. Also, please don't mistake uh, rinsing the milk system with cleaning the milk system. The system does have to be cleaned using the uh, Yura cleaning products. Uh, that is a process that takes a little bit longer. Uh, it's about a six minute process, but you should also be doing that as part of your regular maintenance. There really is a lot to like about the Yura J8. Uh, according to the spec sheet, it's capable of making 31 specialties. So that's a huge amount of drinks that you can prepare in the comfort of your own home, all at the touch of a button. This machine is super easy to use and it produces great results. If you have any questions about the Yura J8 or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're always happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about espresso machines, about coffee machines, about coffee grinders, everything to do with coffee. Thanks for watching and have a great day.